What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. This is the one month review of the very, very good A6 DS Lite X-Fly 5 special edition synthetic version. I will leave the all the ratings right here for those of you who want a quick fix. So all the ratings that I'm gonna go through are right here. Now let's get straight into the sole plate. Now you guys have probably seen the original review of the DS Lite X-Fly 5 in the normal kangaroo leather. They were, it was made out of platinum kangaroo leather in this forefoot area. And then you had the synthetic uh, material here in the midfoot, very, very similar to this. This is the exact same construction, including the sole plate. So for me, most of these ratings are gonna be about the same for both football boots, uh, except for a few pieces that you guys might be interested in. So this sole plate is fantastic. It's mostly, or all conical studs, which is one of my favorite patterns for both playing on AG and FG surfaces. As you can see, there's a grass pitch behind me here. I am standing on an AG pitch. I've played on both of these with these football boots and they really do a fantastic job of gripping into the ground, feeling super neutral, uh, no risk of any sort of issues when you pivot on your toes or anything like that. This is about the safest type of sole plate you can imagine uh, when you think about multiple ground or AG slash FG football boots. The responsiveness of the sole plate is really, really good. It's got great rigidity through the midfoot here, and it does a nice job of flexing enough in the forefoot to make it feel a little bit barefoot. And then for those of you who do know, I, I tend to like boots that sit a little bit flatter, uh, but because of the way that this sole plate flexes, it does a nice job of making sure that it doesn't feel super curved when you're playing or even just standing in these boots. So for me, the sole plate gets an 8.5 out of 10. One of the biggest improvements they made with the heel area compared to the X-Fly 4 is they made it a little bit lower and a little bit wider to accommodate more foot types. That's not to say that if you didn't fit in the X-Fly 4 heel, you won't fit fit in the X-Fly 5 heel. I think the X-Fly 5 heel is honestly an improvement on the X-Fly 4, which was a fabulous fitting heel area. It was It's some of the best on the market. These honestly are, Asics just has absolute wizardry as far as their design in the heel area, because what it does is it really, as you tie the laces tight, the upper really wraps your heel and Achilles area in a way that feels super natural, super comfortable. There's no slippage that I ever get in this heel from a rotational perspective or coming up and down out of the football boot because of this micro suede liner as well you're gonna have a great amount of grip whether you play in either grip socks or non-grip socks depending on what you like to play in best so you can you can do either and you'll be just fine for me this heel area is really fantastic similar to the phantom gx and now the luna series and the new tempo uh, what they've done is they've completely cut out this section right here so that there's no internal heel counter what that does is that really allows moldability and flexibility for multiple shapes of heel and uh, ankle areas. So for me, this is gonna get a 100% rating or the highest rating I give, which is a nine out of 10 for the heel area. The upper on this football boot is absolutely fantastic. It is one of my favorite uppers because it is super comfortable. It is super plush feeling. It actually has a decent amount of barefoot feel. There's no BS when it comes to the transition between the synthetic uh, and I guess on the original non-special edition version, it's leather and synthetic. You get basically the same feeling on this. They've done such an unbelievable job at creating this upper that is super moldable, super flexible, but doesn't have any overstretching. Uh, I go half a size down. So for those of you who are wondering about sizing, I wear a nine US for most boots on the market. These are an 8.5 and they fit absolutely perfectly. They fit right up to the edge. My toes go right up to the edge of the football boot. And this upper really does a fantastic job of wrapping my feet, which are quite wide in the forefoot and the midfoot area. And then I have a thinner heel and these mold just fine. So they feel super nice. The synthetic leather upper is probably the best on the market. I know that the new Tiempo Legend 10 Elite is a fantastic synthetic leather. I think that synthetic leather is, is, is really good. Uh, this though, is th there's no way you can tell the difference. At least I can't, and I'm somebody who tries on quite a bit of football boots. I literally cannot tell the difference between this and the normal leather. That is how good this if you want a synthetic material that feels like leather, this is the boot you buy because this is the closest synthetic material I have ever seen or felt in my life that feels almost identical to leather. And then you've got this really nice material here on uh, the midfoot area that goes back into the heel that also wraps your foot really well. So for me, this upper is absolutely fantastic, 8.5 out of 10. Lockdown is also a big one when it comes to boots that are I'm able to use on a normal day-to-day -day basis in training and in games, especially 
at the professional level. Those little minute differences make a big deal to me. They may not matter to you and that's totally okay. Uh, but for me, the lockdown of this football boot has been sensational. I've worn this in one full match and many, many, many training sessions since I was, uh, since I ordered these from uh, Japan. The link will be down in the description box below. I don't, I'm not an affiliate to them or anything, but that's, uh, I buy them on eBay through a particular retailer who sells uh, all the top end A6 models, which is fantastic. So that's where I get all my stuff. Link will be in the description box below. You can guys can go check their page out. Uh, but these boots have been fantastic as far as lockdown goes, have uh, had zero issues in the game at game pace, had zero issues in training, had zero issues in any of the, you know, the short form content and the individual sessions that I do with these. These are one of the most comfortable football boots and best, it's like one of the best combinations of comfort and performance in a football boot, I think. And so for me, the lockdown is gonna get an 8.5 out of 10. Break in time for the DS Lite X-Fly 5 Special Edition. Uh, I'm gonna knock it down one point, so it's gonna get an eight out of 10. And the only reason is because it has a little bit of hot spot right here on the edge for the first 30 minutes to an hour of playtime. I know that sounds ridiculous that that's all it takes for me to break these in, uh, but I would say that for the most part, the boots that I give nine out of 10s and 8.5s out of 10s to, those are boots that basically fit my foot perfectly straight out of the box right away. These are almost perfect straight out of the box. Once I break them in though, they are absolutely sensational. So for me, the break in time of these gets an eight out of 10. And I imagine for most foot types, as long as you're not excessively wide in any area of your foot, if you're thin to medium wide feet, like I have, uh, you're gonna be beautiful in these no matter uh, no matter what, pretty much. They'll mold straight to your foot. So eight out of 10 for break in time. Durability and build quality of the special edition is I'm sure something you guys are here for, particularly because that was sort of the one knock that I had about the regular edition. It had some separation in the toe area and there was a little bit of fraying of some of the stitching in the forefoot. I did beat the crap out of those football boots on AG surfaces. So you kind of have to weigh up what you value in a football boot. If you play on natural grass, you'll be totally fine. There's gonna be no issues at all, I imagine. Uh, but with these, these are significantly better. I don't know if it's because of the way that these are the special edition, so they're synthetic and so that it lasts a little bit longer on uh, the the artificial ground or or what it was, uh, but these are gonna get a better rating because these have uh, obviously a little bit of discoloration because of the turf. But as you can see, no splitting here on the sole plate, really nice, uh, obviously a little bit of discoloration, but there's these uh, the, the pin here and the pin here on the forefoot do a really nice job of holding that sole plate, which the original version, the regular version does have. Uh, but because of the fact that this is a synthetic model, I do think that this is gonna last a little bit longer if you're somebody who plays predominantly on AG surfaces. I would go with probably the synthetic model because it feels basically identical, but you get the little bit of raise in durability. So for me, this is an eight out of 10 for durability. Shape and fit of this football boot is really hard to knock for me, particularly because this boot is constantly molding to the shape of my foot. As I mentioned before, both the upper and the lockdown of this football boot are really fantastic for me. I've had zero issues. I have a couple teammates that I've now put onto these and they swear that these are the most comfortable football boots they've ever tried. And so for me, the, the shape and fit of this football boot is gonna fit most foot types. As I said before, if you have super thin feet, you'll fit in these totally fine. Just go half a size down. If you fit in, uh, if you have up to like average width to a little bit wider, like I do especially, these are gonna fit totally fine up to about a half size down. And then if you have super wide feet, I think these will be okay. Maybe I would just go true to size and then that upper, the little extra space in the upper will help that material kind of mold to your foot. So for me, the shape, in this the shape and fit of this football boot, I think objectively is just absolutely fantastic. So it's gonna get a nine out of 10. Okay, competition for this football boot, there's two different kind of tier categories that I'm gonna put this in. The first one is just based on the construction and the way that this football boot fits and feels. The two boots that I would say, or I guess three boots technically, that fit in this category are gonna be the Morelia Neo 3, now Neo 4, Neo 4 Beta, and then the Speed Portal 99 gram leather football boot, which is more of a synthetic and a leather. All those, these three boots are gonna be very, very similar in construction to this one. I would say that from a raw performance standpoint, the Speed Portal 99 is the top of that list. I would say for my foot type and what I like though, these are absolutely the top of my list. As you guys know from the 99 gram leather boot, those boots, the transition between the leather and the synthetic is a little bit too much for me. It's a little bit 
inconsistent because of how thin this midfoot is and then how kind of bulbous and, and plush the leather is. Those are both great materials. I just wish that it wasn't such a harsh difference between the two, whereas this boot fits so seamlessly. There's no BS in it, and it really does such a fantastic job of feeling super sleek. So for me, that's why this sits at the top of the list, and this just fits me the best. As far as speed boots on the market, you've got Ultra Ultimate from uh, the Puma line. You've got the Vapor 15 slash Superfly 9 from the Nike brand. And then from Adidas, you've got the now Crazy Fast Plus 0.1 and 0.1 laceless. Uh, for me, this is definitely the top of the list for my foot type. I would say if you're talking objective performance, I think Vapor's pretty hard to beat. I think that's a really fantastic football boot. Ultra Ultimate is always going to be the bottom of my list other than maybe Speed uh, Crazy Fast 0.1, excuse me. Uh, the I would say this and the Crazy Fast Plus, the one with the u throat tongue, those two are my favorite currently on the market for speed boots, but these are definitely up there. These are, these are probably my favorite if I'm gonna pick one for a game, for obvious reasons, I did play in these in a game, so these are going to be number one. So it really tops the list in all the categories for me. Fantastic comfort, good durability, and really overall just a wonderfully fitting football boot. All right, overall performance of this football boot is really good. The only gripe that I'm going to nitpick of it is because some people, like me, like a little bit of grip element on the football boot just to give you a little bit of that edge when bending, passing, shooting the ball. Uh, if, if it's a training session where I'm just going in, playing a friendly match, training on the off season, doing something just for fun. These are kind of the first thing that I grab because they're so no nonsense. They're outrageously comfortable and they just fit your foot so damn well. And that is why these for performance rating are going to get an eight out of 10. Overall, this football boot is extraordinarily hard to beat in my opinion. And for reasons that maybe don't reflect the objective or subjective ratings from uh, some of the other ratings in this video, this football boot is going to get a nine out of 10. It's the top rating I can give a football boot. The reason for that is just because the combination of comfort, the little different, the little details that they've added. So the fact, let me, let me just run through a few of the details why this football boot is a nine out of 10 for me. Number one, it fits most people. The reason for that is because they've added the runner's knot lace right here. And the lacing system goes super deep and super wide, which gives most people the ability to adjust this football boot and really get the appropriate amount of fit with it. The heel area fits pretty much perfectly straight out of the box. The sole plate's really neutral. You'll be able to play with uh, pretty much any surface with them. The length of the studs are fantastic. The feel of this upper is unbelievable, and it really is a difficult football boot to beat as far as an all-around package for comfort, performance, and all that stuff. If you are somebody who doesn't play at a even if you play a super competitive level, I would recommend these boots for absolutely everybody. For those of you who don't play at a super competitive level, but want a really nice fitting pair of football boots that also performs really well and is going to last you a while, you've got to pick these up. Honestly, they are so good straight out of the box and they do such a fantastic job of molding, performing, and all that stuff. So for me, this is a 9 out of 10 overall rating, top marks for the A6DS Lite X-Fly 5 Special Edition. I cannot speak highly enough about this football boot and I recommend it to every single person that I come across purely because of how the, they fit and how they perform. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you guys haven't seen this video right here, I will leave uh, the link there. This is the regular review, and so you can compare and contrast the one-month review from these special edition boots to the regular ones. See you guys later.